we're super excited to welcome Leslie to the show. So Leslie, first of all, thank you for kind of coming on board at the last minute and deciding to do this. We're super happy to have you. Um, thank you. And preface um, where Leslie's from. She's from the Vale market. She's been doing real estate for a very short amount of time. And, and first and foremost, I just want to congratulate you um, on having two transactions and doing some serious business already in that market, because that's what we love to hear from people that are new in the business. So um, welcome to the show. And we're just glad to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. Yeah. Well, everybody's voice matters and everybody's voice is at a different place. So um, I think, you know, I asked Leslie to come on board because she hasn't been in this business for very long. And um, when we when we talked to, with, to one another, the biggest thing um, is where she's coming from and where she's moving towards. So Leslie, maybe you can share that a little bit with the team and talk about um, how that's impacted you and how it's brought you to this real estate business. Sure. So, um, well, I moved to Colorado about 11 years ago and I started in lodging. Um, so I was a group sales manager for up until um, roughly four years ago. And then I moved to what would have been the pinnacle of my career, really. Um, I had a position at a nonprofit. It was uh, the Vail Valley Foundation. And I handled all of the lodging for the foundation. So, and that's also inclusive of their events. Um, they put on the GoPro mountain games here in the Valley. They put on the birds of prey uh, down, uh, downhill ski team. Um, and they also do veil dance. So handling a lot of those large contracts and management, which was something that I had a goal of. That was what my degree was in um, really. I'm interested in, but it was, um, you know, I was at a place in my life where starting over, starting something new wasn't really an option, <laughs> especially living here in the Valley because it's so expensive. Um, but then COVID hit and I was home and I kind of saw the writing on the wall. Um, Jennifer Colson is my store neighbor. We chatted a little bit, told me that there was a scholarship that could be available if I applied. So I applied for the scholarship and um, I was actually um, studying, you know, the well, Floyd, so that was nice. <laughs> um, and then passed and that kind of brings me to where I am today. Um, a lot of those, you know, having a very corporate background, um, is very different from going into uh, entrepreneurship. So I knew how to manage myself at my corporate job. Um, and you had some of those, that schedule that was kind of already preset for yourself. Um, and then you always had your team, you know, that was there for you. Um, if you didn't have any, if you had any questions, you could go to them. So um, it's been a, definitely a transition for me uh, to go from that corporate structure, you know, and then calling my own schedule and holding myself, uh, you know, um, to my goals. How have you, I mean, that's, that's definitely a big transition, you know, like the, the two animals are definitely not the same. In the year that you've been doing this and you've organized your business, what are some of those tools that you feel like you walked away with that are helping you? What have you really held on to to keep yourself kind of organized? Mm -hmm. um, well, I've known that if I don't have anything, if it's not in the schedule, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, one thing that I was really good at uh, in the corporate side of things was making a list. Um, and I kind of forgot, you know, a lot of some of a lot of those things when I first started, it's just um, your mind is so overwhelmed with everything. Um, and so now I've kind of gotten back to okay, if it's not written down, it's not going to happen. I have to have it um, scheduled out in my calendar. Um, and then really putting yourself first. Um, mm -hmm. I have a a struggle with that. <laughs> I'm the baby of the family. You know, I'm the third child. Um, I've always like, don't rock the boat, make 
make sure everybody else is cool. <laughs> and so, um, and I was even just reflecting this morning, even in sports, like in high school, I was always like the support person, you know, um, and I played volleyball. So I was in the back row. And so you would set up your setters and your, um, you know, your people so that they could have the light and shine. Um, so it is very different in that I need to kind of push myself forward uh, in that. So um, that's been definitely a mind, uh, a mind trick <laughs> that I've had to overcome. Um, but yeah, some of those things are still, uh, I need to get back to with the corporate world to make myself more organized. Uh, and a lot of marketing um, has been super helpful that I keep in mind too. And then just trying to keep it simple, mm -hmm. just really focusing on just a few things that can really further yourself. So what's it like to be a woman with that challenge as well? I mean, do you find that's more difficult for you or has that been, how have you handled that in this business? Um, I think for, and for me specifically, and maybe this is all women too, is that we do fall into that nurturing support role um, so, you know, first and foremost, like I'm just supportive of my people around me. Um, and I think that that's been hard, like, you know, I just discussed, um, and I think just trying to kind of reverse that mindset a little bit or find more of a balance. Um, you know, I'm actually at my boyfriend's liquor store right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what I do um, when I'm not working real estate is I'm here at the liquor store and I'm helping. Um, we're a couple people short and we have ads out there. We're trying to find somebody. But in the meantime, you know, this is where you're going to find me. Um, Still so finding that balance. It's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I love your story. I mean, you talk about another woman bringing you to the business, right? Like, you know, you have this neighbor and we, we do know who Jen Colson is, but that ability for you to go to someone else and, and, and listen to their thoughts about that business and whether it's an opportunity for you. And, you know, I think that's really a great uh, connection for you. Like that ability to understand that you yeah. always have to to make that happen and put it together. How do you see 22 rolling out for you? This will be your second year and super excited that you're attempting to do this and be more outgoing and, um, you know, extroverted and also self your, your own entrepreneur, right. In, in this business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's been really great to have, um, Jennifer as a tour and support. I talk to her almost every day. <laughs> um, so that's been really helpful. And for her to have just another woman, you know, to talk to, because it is different um, to put yourself in that position. Uh, I think for 2022, you know, I think, you know, that this is the long game, especially for me, because I just need to get my personality type is I need to get comfortable before I'm really like able to excel and sell. Um, I think just focusing on those small things, uh, like I said, uh, my focus is more on lead generation um, and then also marketing. So just really trying to keep it simple. Of course, there's a lot of things that fall underneath those categories, but um, just focusing on the um, little tasks that can further yourself. And I have high hopes for 2020. Um, you know, I think I, it's, uh, it's going to be a good year. I mean, every year is going to be better than the last. So I am very, I'm always optimistic. Uh, I think change is always a good thing. <laughs> I've never had change not be. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great year. I look forward to you like mentoring somebody else. Like, I think that's, that sounds like it'd be part of who you are because you care about people. Well, uh, you're pulling on my heartstrings there. I've got some big <laughs> high hopes. <laughs> well, you know what? I do too. It's just so nice of you to share your story because I think we always think that in order to be in this business, you have to be, you know, an assertive, aggressive, super over communicating kind of individual. And this business is really made of, up of different people. 
And um, each person has their own story and can grow a business building relationships based on unique personalities. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see what you'll do with it. You know, I'm super happy to hear that you feel like you have some support from everybody on the team. And we're just lucky to have you on our in our family and on our team. So thank you so much for sharing your story a little bit, Leslie. And yeah. everybody- Check in with Leslie. It's Leslie Norton. She's in the Vail office. You can find her in CBI. Talk to and support you with whatever you might need.